Your orders. Your orders. We fight for all yeah, there's there's Hoffinger, yeah. Hoffinger and Bannerman, that's what his deck's about. Oh, he gets another card. Oh, he does- yeah, he does get another card. Okay. Okay, okay. I mean, I have board lethal already. How do we do this? We play around Jav mostly. Oh, wait. And then we just do this. And now I'm trying to remember the rules. I have to play Archer again now, I think. I'm pretty sure I have to play Archer again. So, we keep on with the assassin. <laughs> He's feeling good. He thinks he thinks I have it. Well, we'll see. I mean, I don't have any faith in my scout deck. So if he if he heals my uh, my assassin, this is gonna be rough. <laughs> don't jinx me. <laughs> So I have to play the same deck. It's kind of odd that I'm streaming, but I have no reason to check my dashboard for another half hour because the stream hasn't really started yet. It's so weird. All right. So I think we tempo. Ooh. No, we save Sharpshire, we Tempo, Raider. Because he has witches, right? We can see his list. This is his list. He runs Dragon Cult Ghost. He does this, the, the big Vitality combo, right? He does Word Wall, Vitality, and then he has Greybeard, Mentor. And his idea is he clears my board and then wins with Tazcat and Parthenax. So I think uh, Sharpshire is better here. It's not a witch, but it's My still a good kill. And basically, he has no prophecies, right? Does he have a single prophecy in this deck? Mm, his ramp has begun. He has giant bat. He has a charge minion. He has snake tooth necklace for big heals. But no, he has zero prophecies. Zero. So, let's do this. I mean, there's still a concern with drawing him cards. In that, I give him Drain Vitalities. I give him increased chance of getting the Word Wall Drain Vitality combo, which is really important against my deck. Yeah, as such. Was that even the last card? Is that the card I just drew him? I mean, but, but I don't play around it. Because I'm aggro, and he's ramp. I have to kill him before he hits 12 mana. Once he can cycle Odaving, I just pretty much lose. But I do want to set up big combos. So if this is anything other than Skulk Eraser, it hits. Oh my god. That was pretty bad. Man, I have an 88% chance, and... In the second tournament game, he fails to hit. Share point, okay. On him. So now I think I go for the value trade, maybe. Yeah. Man, it, if, that, if that had hit, I would have broken a rune, too. I don't know. That's, that's really... It's really sad. Oh, how much removal of supports does he have? He has two priests Observe. and no druze. Oh, crap. There's... Is he gonna drain it again? Does he drain again? No. Okay. Not yet, at least. I think we go this way. 
Wait, wait. He's gonna be level two of the thing. So this dies to that. Does this... This also dies... Does this die? No, Cliff Racer lives, doesn't it? Cliff Racer lives against his level two shout. Okay, let's try it. We have to, we want to protect Cliff Racer. We don't want him to just get it for free. Oh, okay. Well, that gets it. Oh. Okay. Do I Rampaging Minotaur the Bat? It's such a bad trade. Minotaur, why do you have to have only two life, man? Why has it got to be only the two life? really don't want him healing. And then we're basically out of cards, right? We kind of need him hitting us, so we don't want to leave anything in this lane. I think this is the route we go. Really was hoping Skulk would get off again. Now, he might just not hit face at all. Actually, he probably doesn't hit face at all. It sure would be nice if he hit face just the once so I could... Yeah, there we go. Because I need this card right now. I need this card really badly. Okay. Well, let's do this first. Do we save this for next turn in case he has another shout? I mean, do we basically want to be setting up... I mean, if he has the level 3 shout, that would be really bad. No, we don't... We don't draw him a card for the three damage right now, I don't think. This probably only lives one turn. And, and we want to bait out the shout. Of course, we're, then he just might witch it. Ah, there it is. Okay. Okay. Observe. Ah, fuck. Now he has the third one. He's drawing me cards, though, which is really good for me. Unfortunately, okay. How much is this? One, two, three, four. Four. Eight, twelve. So we hit once this turn, and we ready the party. Okay. Oh wait, did I have lethal this turn? Shit. Fuck, I hope I didn't just throw. The hist provides. Hit again? Give me one more card, please. No, of course not. Nope, we got it. We Time he has no prophecies. Time to fight. Time to fight. I very nearly fucking just threw there. I think that actually was almost a throw. I nearly lost that game because I did not fucking go for lethal when I had just the easiest- No, 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 I didn't! I didn't have the lethal because it wasn't for each without the the lane buff from the orc clan. Okay, no, I, I played that right. Okay. 
He has yet to beat my archer deck. And there shouldn't be a lot of downtime between matches because we don't have a sideboard and he only has one more deck he can play. So I think I just challenge him and we go for this one. So his last deck is Mage. Wait, really? I didn't ban the Mage? Oh, right. I had a choice between Mage and Battle Mage, and I chose to ban the Battle Mage. So we can look at his Mage. He does have Ice Storm, which is always terrible for aggro. Right, he's basically control. He also has a ring. It is pretty hard to play around Control Mage. This deck might just lose, but I have Ramp Scout for after. The Nords must take back Sky. I'm always like, should I ban the Mage or the Battle Mage? Basically, I just try to ban as much blue. He was running two decks with Ice Storm, though, right? He had Battle Mage with Ice Storm, and he had Mage with Ice Storm. Mm, it's a little bit early for the Orkland Captain. Oh, wait, do I just Rapid Shot again? Do I Rapid Shot again? Or do I Orc Clan? I might need the Rapid Shot to bust another ward. But I'm gonna need Orc Clans to set up lethal at the end of the game. Nah, we go this way. And before Firebolt and or Execute. He has three of each. I suppose we just go... Battalion here. We want to protect this guy because this is one of our guys that survives Ice Storm. This is one of our most valuable cards at this point. He's practically the only thing that can stay on the board. Fuck. He can Ice Storm next turn. Do I just Skulk Rapid Shot? We have to be really careful with crushing below. Okay. Well, saving the rapid shot might have been nice. Yeah, it's hard to fucking protect this guy forever. Morkle kind of works. Do I also play Mighty Ally? I wish I had some way of buffing the HP of my ally. This might be a huge fucking mistake. <sighs> Fuck. What is the likelihood of him having an Ice Storm in hand? Pretty fucking high, right? Over 10%? Let's call it 15%. But even if he plays it, Stormcloak stays alive, and we have to bait out the first Ice Storm somehow. Fuck. Why would I even play it over here? Oh. Uh, I want to play it in field, right? If I'm going to play it, I'm going to play it in field. Okay, I think this kind of makes sense. It might be a mistake. It's really hard to play around Ice Storm the entire game as an aggro deck. Ice Storm. Shame, take 
Okay, crushing blow. Crushing blow, okay. So he has two of the cards in his hand are the tomes. Just drawing a card, okay. Getting it down where he can tome to kill. Or bolt on prophecy. Shit, was that wrong? No, because I'm going to hit with Minotaur anyway. It's not exactly wrong then. We did not hit a bolt. What on earth is would I possibly save her for? Just in case there's what? Night of the hour? I don't know why I don't oh, in case there's a harpy. I would save her for Harpy, maybe. Nah, I think we drop her. The chance of Ice Storm this turn. He could Ice Storm Firebolt. Lightning Bolt, okay. Execute. Does he have any recovery? Night of the Hour is his main form of recovery. I kind of need one of my supports here. I need to set up a combo. If I give him even more cards, he's going to draw into one of his Knights of the Hour. On the other hand, not using mana efficiently, I mean, but this all dies to, like, whatever, however he chooses to kill it, right? It's either Mage's Trick, Firebolt, or even an Ice Storm. Ice Storm is fantastic against 3 one, one minions, right? And this is not lethal, and I just draw him more cards at the moment. Right, until I actually have lethal within two turns, I have to not, I think I stop playing things, maybe. Okay. It seems Gajit was outwitted. That's not a night of the error. Nine, three Knights of the Hour is nine. He's likely to only draw at most one. If he had one in hand, he would have played it right now. This is when you play Knight of the Hour, right there. I have no recovering in my deck, so that doesn't really help him. Okay, so this is... One, two, three, four, eight, nine... We hit something. What did we hit? Bolt. Bolt's fine. Even face. Bolt goes face. That's kind of amazing. I think we actually play the Underworld Vigilante here. To get him down to exactly six. There's nowhere they can hide. Now we are shield breaker from when, assuming he doesn't draw a knight of the hour now. Draws me a card. He drew me a shield breaker. He drew me a shield breaker. I'm just gonna throw that out for a moment. 
He's a control mage that just drew me a shield breaker. Unfortunately, I have to pop this rune, I think, unless I draw another shield breaker on top deck or some other form of buffing two damage. Close ranks, let nothing through. He drew a guard. Guard does not bother me whatsoever. He draws me another card at six life. Okay, we... Let's just do this first. Let's see where we're at. Because it draws us a card too. Knight of the Arrow. No, 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 no. Thank you! No Knight of the Arrow. No Knight of the Arrow for you! Okay, so Assassin just went 3-0. That's pretty good.